Today you're gonna to learn about mild scoliosis and while the normal treatment option is watch and wait, but it's definitely something that you don't wanna do if you have mild scoliosis. When a diagnosis of scoliosis is made, the first thing that's done, it's, it's categorized into severity, meaning mild, moderate, or severe. And typically a mild scoliosis is a scoliosis that's diagnosed that's less than 25 degrees. And if your child is diagnosed with a scoliosis that's less than 25 degrees, the treatment option that would be recommended for this type of curvature will be absolutely nothing. It is called watch and wait. It's this watch and see if, you're, if, this, if your child's curve is gonna be the one that progresses. And what happens is we know kids during growth, they have a very high risk to progress as they continue to grow throughout their childhood into adolescence and of course into eventually into adulthood. And in this transition phase is when the curves really tend to progress. So you could be, your child could be in that category that's gonna be the one that progresses during this growth phase. And if it is, it could progress significantly. Some curves can progress up to 50, 60, 70 degrees, some larger than that. The biggest curve ever seen in a child has been a 155 degrees. This isn't a growing child. So if you're in that in that category and your child is the one that progresses to 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 degrees, you're going to be asking yourself, well, why didn't we treat it sooner when we caught it sm smaller? And that's what happens with all my patients that I see. They're always regretting the fact that they didn't try to treat it when the curve was smaller when they first diagnosed it. However, the argument of the orthopedic doctor, the orthopedic surgeon, the reason why they don't treat is because we don't know. You may be that one or two or that whatever percentage that's not going to progress into this high level category. And let's say you get diagnosed at 20 degrees and the curve doesn't progress. Well, the question I want to ask is, is there really any harm in taking a 20 degree curve and reducing it to 10? There really isn't. There's really no, in fact, a smaller curve is always better. So you don't want to be the case that actually progresses and you regret it, but you can actually be the case that reduces the curve and make it smaller. And there's another benefit to reducing your curve is that there is one risk factor, the largest risk factor in how much your, your child's curve will progress during growth is size of curve. So the smaller you can keep your curve, the more you reduce the risk to, to, for it to actually progress. And to think that the end stage, meaning if the curve were to progress, that the end stage is where they actually do something called surgical fusion, where they go in there and they actually fuse the spine with rods and screws. Thinking that that type of treatment is coming if, it's, if it doesn't get treated properly or it progresses during this growth phase, wouldn't it make sense that you would want to treat it earlier to try to avoid that invasive type of risky surgery? So if you have mild scoliosis, my recommendation is not you don't watch and wait, but you actually treat the curve early to prevent it from getting big because that's what every big curve has in common is that it once was mild at one point. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this information helpful. If you'd like to hear about other topics and information on scoliosis, type in the comments below and let us know. And finally, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of when we publish content. Thanks.